What does homelessness look like? It looks, looks like, like your mother, mother your, your father, father, your sister, sister your, your brother, brother, your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your favourite granny and pop. It looks like your neighbour or your teenager's friend from school whose home is no longer safe. It looks like a family breakdown, the guy girl next door who lost their job or who fell ill and couldn't work anymore. It's a person over 55. It looks like domestic violence or financial stress. It, it looks, looks like, like you, you or me. me. Every one of the people who find themselves homeless never thought this, this would, would be, be their, their story. story. Uh, so my dad um, divorced my mum when I was little and dad um, went on and got remarried and he had a new family, a new wife and new kids and I felt replaced by that. But I knew one day we had to move out of there and that was the saddest day for me. Hanging out with the wrong people, some of the older boys doing some bad stuff and I sort of just followed that. Um, after a while, things got worse and worse and actually one of my mates got killed. The great thing about what we do is that we provide homelessness um, services from anyone from 16 years of age until, well, even younger than that. And so we, we're providing literally homelessness services for children right up to seniors. At first, I probably didn't come out of my room very much. Uh, just that whole feeling of, I knew I was safe, but just that coming to terms with it myself, that I'd, I'd ended up in a place where I thought that um, it, it was like having a weakness where I'd ended up. But slowly the workers at Platform 9 just treated me with dignity and respect. It was a journey. I started off as a young bloke, single parent family. Dad was never really around, so got into some pretty bad stuff. Drinking, drugs, gang life. Um, not having a dad sort of left me looking for things that I couldn't find anywhere else but in that sort of gang sort of vibe, I guess you'd say. I've had the privilege of being able to manage Platform 9 now for um, three years and I've been able to really see some huge um, changes in the lives of many people and along that time not only have we um, been able to support people through the domestic and fa family violence, we've been able to support people through homelessness. We've seen 345 people come through our doors with a 96% success rate of finding them longer term housing solutions. Meeting a lot of beautiful people mm. and it didn't matter who they were, you know, whether it was just a single person, whether it was a family of two or a family of eight. You know, it's, it's been able to share the story and to encourage each other and to give hope. And that's what, for me, the journey in Platform 9 has brought to me. The love. There was love in that place. There's a number of different ways that people become homeless, um, from addiction and, and just in that sort of situation, or to just mental health in their families, abuse in their families, neglect in their families, just a whole bunch of stuff and reasons where kids who are 16 in that age group end up either having to raise their family or look after their family or just flee from their family because it's unsafe to be there. I went back to Jacaranda recently and I, um, I've been going to counselling regularly as of recent and I discovered that through this process that they wanted me to go and find home and I really um, I thought through all my childhood memories about where was home and I realised that it was at Jacaranda. Jacaranda empowered me to be able to make my own decisions and my own choices. I became my own person again. When I first came in, I didn't realise the importance. I, I didn't realise the work that they did. It's not about just providing a shelter. It was about providing a community and a little family. and. It really is a place that you belong um, and it gives you those foundations and stepping stones to be able to get to that next place and yeah I really couldn't thank them enough. So. We put our hands up for homelessness, what about you? I'm putting my hand up for homelessness, what about you? I'm putting my hand up for homelessness, what about you?